Mark Savage here and welcome to my channel. As promised in my last video, Audi's S1. As seen by the badge. You're gonna get a drive in a minute with me, but I just thought I'd show you around the outside of the car. The front of the vehicle, from the ground up, just looks impressive. It's a beautiful color as well. What color is this? It's a pang blue. Very pretty. Splitters. What I have to notice, no fog lights. This little one here, it's got little holes in it. And this one is vented, and I'm guessing that's for the turbo. The car, beautiful 18 inch alloys with the S1 logo. This is the five door version. Lovely set of twin quartz back here as well. And again, it looks beautiful from the floor up. This is the 2018 model. Nice vented spoiler. And as we go around, I'm not sure about the decals though. Don't know why that's like that. Someone might be able to tell me on the old channel. Competition. Yep, 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 yep. As you may have heard in the background, this is because it's the competition model. Thank you, wife. Something I do like about this car. Lovely folding mirrors, but as you walk up to the door, no keys, and it unlocks for you, and the door's open. And for shutting, just push the button and walk away. Happy days. Lovely leather seats, only two at the back here, although it does come as a five person car. This is the seat part, except the cans. Lovely and quattro. Does look lovely at the back. And for the doors, lovely inserts. As for the boot space, well, <laughs> it's a small car. It does have 60 40 rear split seats, so you can put the back down if you need to. And as you see me driving, in a minute, lovely heated leather seats. Really does look a nice car. I'm sitting where I'm sitting, even better. And the bows. Let's look under the bonnet. Very pretty two litre TFSI engine. Start the car down. And the little rev. Very nice. And it has to be done. Inside the S1 Audi, very comfortable driving position. I will say, statistics say 40 to the gallon. Realistically, you're talking high 20s, very low 30s. Even if you do occasionally put your foot down. Six speed gearbox, six speed gearbox. Keyless, start button. Lovely half cut steering wheel this is as well. Nice, simple to use sat nav. The range comes with obviously Bose speakers. Now it is a quattro, which means four wheel drive, as anybody knows, it sticks to the road like glue. Now I'm guessing you're going to be going through tyres, so factor that in when you buy this car. This car being top of the range, £35,000. There are some deals out there, but Audi seem to have every extra pack. It's, um, blah blah you know the comfort pack this pack smokers pack i don't know there's so many packs now something you will get when driving this car i know you've all had to look around the outside but obviously when you get cars up behind you you will get the lads that want to race you now my wife funny enough the other day driving along she's got two kids with the car which she did and you will get kids coming up behind you wanting to play this car in fourth gear just put it down and it goes so well stereo very nice enough my childish moments sorry <laughs> heads up display is brilliant you get all the information you need and obviously there's toggles and switches that then show you what you're doing. Hands-free recording, hands-free driving. It's got your telephone connectivity as well. I do like the fact you can get in this car without using the keys. Audis are realistically cars for inside as well as out. They're driver's cars. I find BMWs look gorgeous on the outside, but inside they can be a sea of black plastic. This, I know, is black, but at night time, all the uh, round speakers glow up. It's got mood lighting, I think they call it. LED lights, 
light back inside. Now this is the five door model. We've got it sports back. There's also the three door, which obviously is the smaller than only has three doors obviously. Back seats. You can get five people, well no, you can get four people come to be in this car. This one comes in the middle of the mist as well, which the wife doesn't like using, but hey, I quite like it. This is primarily her car, and I'll just jump in it, speed to the pub so I pick her up. If you look to my channel, you'll notice that I've got a 1.6 turbo diesel S-Line on there. That's my wife's old car, black and silver roof. She really enjoyed that, but always missed a little bit more grunt. 231 brake horsepower as standard. From a 2 litre turbo TFSI engine, very pokey. I must admit, it is nice and pokey. And as I said, with the Quattro as well, sticks to the road. All round, a great little box, fun little car. I wouldn't exactly say you want to strap your kids in here, but hey, some people do love it. Cabin's not bad. Hello, Mike. Anyway, this is what it's about. Into third gear, little van, and then you can just push your foot down here. go as promised a look round my wife's Audi S1 2 litre turbo hopefully it's enjoyable with the drive as well please like share and subscribe I've got some other car videos on here as well I've got the Audi TT the um, A1 little baby one of this the Audi A1 diesel and a few other cars as well anyway like share and subscribe take care of yourselves